Torek Farhadi is a former advisor to the Afghan government, and he joins us now live from Geneva. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Now, Ashraf Ghani has been given a second term in office, but his chief rival, Abdullah Abdullah, is contesting the outcome and has threatened to form a parallel government. How do you see this impacting the peace deal with the Taliban? Well, good morning. This is an indicator that Ashraf Ghani is not happy with how uh, the peace negotiations between uh, the U.S. and the Taliban are uh, uh, going. Um, he did not need to announce the results of the elections. Uh, we didn't have the results for the elections for five months, six months. This could have gone on. And this was a time to reach out to others rather than alienating people inside and outside Afghanistan. Uh, he was at the Munich Security Conference uh, um, last week. He met Secretary Pompeo, and uh, probably aspects of the deal uh, did not please him. And so he went ahead and preempted the situation by declaring himself president, while the audit of the 16,000 complaints were not really uh, com completed. Uh, so everyone was was um, even uh, was surprised, basically. So now, what's happening is that the international community, uh, which has co-financed the elections, can say, uh, well, you need to go back and finish this audit before we recognize you. In fact, uh, Dr. Ashraf Ghani has given the biggest bargaining chip to his rivals by declaring himself uh, preemptively a president. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, um, uh, now the U.S. can bargain with him, saying, we will not recognize you mm -hmm. unless you release the 5,000 Taliban that are in prison in, uh, in the outskirts of Kabul. Yeah. Uh, he could have negotiated this later during the peace talks. But now, uh, while he was a tolerated president before, now the international community can deem him as a self-declared president. Well, speaking and of the international community there, Torek, um, they've been, so far, they've been pretty silent. Can we read anything into this? Does Ghani need the endorsement of the international community at this stage? Yes, he does. Uh, any international leader de needs the endorsement of the international community in order to have ambassadors abroad, in order to sign deals with the World Bank, the IMF, the international finance organizations. Um, essentially, uh, he has boxed in himself in a situation where now the international community could um, um, demand concessions towards peace from him before recognizing his government. It is possible that they might recognize uh, his government. None of the neighbors of Afghanistan have recognized his government. NATO has not recognized his presidency. The US, which is the main funder, has not recognized his uh, declaration. So now there's a lot of uh, bargaining uh, going on in Kabul, uh, mostly on the part of the international community, which deemed um, uh, uh, Ashraf Ghani as, as slow on the way to forming a comprehensive delegation of Afghans to negotiate peace with the Taliban. He had just okay. formed a delegation of his own um, friends. Okay, Torek Farhadi, thank you so much for that analysis. That's Torek Farhadi joining us live from Geneva.